So, is this the end of the Call of Duty era of gaming? What's going on guys, Blue One Soon here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and if it truly will suck and possibly kill the long lived franchise of Call of Duty. Now a lot of things to discuss in this video, uh, mainly I'll be talking about the fan reception that's happened and the way developers have responded to it uh, and overall what we can get from the current gameplay that we've seen. So now straight away I want to talk about some of the terrible fan reception that's been coming in about the game. Now the trailer has 24 million views and it has 2.5 million dislikes. Now that is the second most dislikes on any video ever on YouTube and the most for any trailer. If that's not a bad fan reception I don't quite know what is. And for the, for the record it only has 400,000 likes. Now of course likes and dislikes don't mean everything. People watch the videos and they don't leave a like uh, and occasionally just leave the video straight away. So that could mean that all the people who do like the game just haven't done anything about it, but the chances are if somebody really does like the game and they're passionate about it, then they would leave a like on the video. So from that ratio, it isn't very hopeful for the future and isn't entirely telling at the same time. So why exactly is this franchise now being destroyed and torn down and suddenly people absolutely hate it? People have always hated the franchise, but now it seems to be more than ever. Well, from a lot of people that have talked talk to me, and from all the information that I've gathered, people are saying the future is overdone, uh, nothing unique about the game, it's way too far in the future to actually be interesting and it doesn't feature anything that a typical Call of Duty should be. It's too much like Halo was one thing I heard a lot and it just lost the a whole idea of a Call of Duty game. Some people have said they don't like the new fast complex gameplay with high jumps and war running and all things like that and they miss the basic boots on ground sort of combat. Now sure these are all very valid points but it doesn't entirely add up why the game is getting so much hate at the moment. I personally believe that it's mainly because of fans constantly asking for a certain game, demanding this and that, uh, and now the developers suddenly saying, nope, we're going to give you this, we're going to make this game for you. Hey look, remember this one was good? We'll make this one like just the same as that one. Which is getting a lot of fans angry, with people going, no, we wanted this type of game, and you're giving us a whole another future game. Um, and overall, don't forget, these games take three years to develop, so of course developers are making these games and then they come out and everyone's having these bad receptions even though three years ago this is what they wanted. So despite the games being more polished uh, and complete now and actually something unique every time, fans don't want them because by the time that it comes out of course they want something new. Fans will always change their opinion constantly. Battlefield 1 was rumoured and people were going, oh my god I don't want World War 1 games, it's going to be terrible. All of the polls which were World War 1, World War 2, Vietnam, World War 1 was always the lowest, least wanted one. As soon as the trailer comes out, bang, it's a huge success, everyone looks forward to it so much, and everyone is really hyped to get the game. Now from that standpoint, that's where a developer has gone, okay, fans don't really want this, let's make a trailer that makes them want it, let's introduce them to something that, you know, hey look, this is our vision for this game. With Infinite Warfare, they've basically shown us something that we've seen multiple times, even in Call of Duty games. And with the fact that the last couple of new franchises haven't really been a hit, with Ghost being terrible in terms of multiplayer and pretty unenjoyable uh, and advanced warfare being a decent but not popular and really sort of oddly designed game uh, there's no real solid foundation to go off. The Modern Warfare series is so good because Modern Warfare 1 uh, was so enjoyable, Modern Warfare 2 carried on what it did, and then Modern Warfare 3 carried on again. That's the same with the Black Ops series, that's why the, those two have gone on for so long. But these last two have just slipped up and they can't seem to get a footing for a new series. Infinite Warfare probably won't see more than just one game. Um, and it'll probably die straight away and then move straight back to, hopefully, a Modern Warfare or a World of War game. Um, I really want to see World War 2, but I doubt that will ever happen. So from all of this, we can clearly see that nobody really wants Infinite Warfare. But how did the developers and the publishers, especially the CEO of Activision, respond to this? Well, in an interview, he actually said, the number of likes per view on the Infinite Warfare trailer are the highest we've ever seen. I'm not entirely sure what he was either smoking, um, or possibly took before the interview because by anything I can see that isn't true uh, and is entirely the wrong statement I think to put out when the game is getting such negative press. 
Now, he also said the franchise has never been stronger. Sure, in terms of sales, the games are doing incredibly, but the player count on Black Ops 3 is dropping daily, and not within small amounts. There was something like a, a 0.6 uh, decrease, um, or a 6 percentage decrease every single week on the game, and that's pretty significant. Um, so how can you say it's the stronger, how can you say it's the strongest it's ever been? I don't quite get that. So now the final point and the main one of this video is will it suck? Honestly, it's too early to tell at this point. From the gameplay we've seen, boosters are pretty much confirmed. Uh, not entirely, but we've heard a lot of things come out, the little leaks here and there, rumours. Um, and there's definitely going to be something similar if not entirely the same as we've seen before. The campaign story is typical and nothing new. Um, it's the same old thing of a new force that comes along, causes mass destruction, millions are killed, absolute chaos. And now as the good guys, you have to fight them and defeat them uh, and stop them achieving their ultimate evil goal. Uh, honestly, we've seen it countless times in movies, games, and it's just getting old at this point. Some of the rumours about maps taking place on other planets, asteroids and on space stations does actually sound pretty cool, um, but it is very much a, a hey, hey look we have this and that's not going to save the game entirely. No matter how many cool maps they have, obviously the game will still pretty will still die pretty quickly. I think honestly the game will follow the pattern of the last two games where the launch will be good and solid, everyone thinks, hey look, you know, people are actually playing this game. Within a week or even a month, the player counts have gone seriously down, nobody is really playing it anymore, and overall the whole game is just slowly dying. Now personally it fills a void that I've always had of a space combat futuristic game uh, that features, you know, tons of interplanetary travel and fighting. Um, but that hole could easily be filled by No Man's Sky. And that did get me thinking that maybe the developers are trying to cash in on the popularity of games like Star Citizen and the fact that it was the highest grossing Kickstarter of all time. Possibly they were thinking, okay, this is a small little company. If we get in there sooner, we can make more money and sell the game sooner. The problem is that Star Citizen has a whole different community to Call of Duty, of course, and the Call of Duty community is not asking for Star Citizen. So it's trying to give the fans something they clearly do not want. Now me personally, I will get the game, hopefully, um, but I can see playing it for a week, maybe two weeks, and then giving up entirely. I don't imagine I'll last long uh, and really have fun at all on this game. Especially when it comes out just after Battlefield 1. It's going to be very hard to drag me away from that game, uh, even after such a short time. Now lastly, I will say I do think it will break the sales record for Call of Duty. Why? Because of the Modern Warfare Remaster. Now, this is one thing that is very, very clever. Nobody wants this game, and they must have realised this when the the um, fans started to say, no, 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 don't, don't give us a future, and they went, okay, Modern Warfare Remastered. That way we can sell the game, give them something they want, and they'll stay loyal. We might now have a cycle of yearly remasters, which could, be, of course, be continuous. They could make the current game awful, remaster it, in a later date and people will still buy it. So now of course Infinite Warfare will die very quickly in multiplayer and I doubt the campaign will be any good at all really. The Modern Warfare remake will be what saves it and what actually keeps fans around. Now this could be the end of Call of Duty as we know it we could slowly begin to see a decrease. Personally I don't think it is. I don't think we've seen yet that one pinnacle Call of Duty that everyone agrees is the best um, and that is truly amazing and sensational. I think there's one or two games left in that franchise, so you have to squeeze the orange a bit more and maybe, maybe something decent will come from it. So now that is all for today guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comments, they are very important to the whole franchise of gaming, to the entire community and to the entire uh, market in itself, so go ahead and do that. I'll be sure to read them and take them in as input and uh, maybe implement a further video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, bloom on soon out.